Stefan. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they shall stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And good morning. Good morning, Father. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, you came to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to reconcile sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over the hearts of the children of Israel. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. All of us gazing with unveiled face, face on the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory as from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Therefore, since we have this ministry through the mercy shown us, we are not discouraged. Even though our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, in whose case the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they may not see the light of the gospel, of the glory of Christ, who is the image of of God. For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus our Lord, and ourselves as servants for the sake of Jesus. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to bring to light the knowledge of the glory of God on the face of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord will draw, dwell in our hearts. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our hearts. In our, I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And justice shall look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new command. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, Alleluia. Right. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, Whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gihana. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Reconciliation. It's a good topic. Paul writes to the Corinthians about a veil that covers our eyesight. When Moses read the Ten Commandments, or however number there were, to the people, they had a veil in front of them. They could not, they, they accepted it. They loved the thought that God loved them enough to give them commandments, but they couldn't see it for what it was. That veil prevented them from seeing it with God's eyes. And it is only until, and Paul states, it's only until the fact that we uh, turn to the Lord and ask him to be the center of our lives, and and we understand when we do that that there's a change in our life. There's a a metanoia that happens, and it's only then that the veil is lifted. And so we need the spirit of Jesus to get through our lives. We need to to, um, offer him everything and seek his guidance and light into our lives. And... um, Until then, we cannot see properly. Our vision is blurred. There's a veil there that only Christ can lift. In the gospel, Jesus is very concerned about people that won't reconcile with each other and yet bring their gift to the altar. They come here and uh, offer their gift up And Jesus is very blunt. He said, don't waste your time because if you have this grievance with your brother, your your prayers will not be heard. There's an obstacle in your path that you need to deal with, and that's reconciliation. And um, reconciliation in this respect, going to another person and understanding that there was a grievance and, and dealing with it and talking to them is, is a form of healing. And we have this healing and, and what we are required to do is speak with affirmation. Don't let your feelings rule the, the conversation. You're there to reconcile with each other. And I think that you'd find that when you do that, it's very uh, amazing how your heart can change towards that person because you get into a, 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 a conversation where you're both, you know, you're not really attacking, but you're talking about, you know, your, uh, your disagreement. And um, it's, it's kind of like a form of evangelization in a way. When we reconcile with each other, we turn their hearts towards the Lord and we're turning and and in in our desire to reconcile. Maybe the reconciliation will take a few visits, 
You know, I'm assuming that it'll all be worked out and that doesn't always happen. But what, if we continue to love that person and not show any animosities, especially don't talk to other people about this, you know, that it's so hard not to do that. It's so hard to look for allies when you're in, the, in those situations, but uh, that isn't what you're there for. You're there to actually, um, a lot of times in these instances, it, it would be good to pray together before you start. You know, the, both parties know that there's been an injury and a, and a, uh, a break. So, you know, praying together to, to reconcile is, is very important. And um, we want to bring healing to the situation. And uh, it's such an uplifting thing when it works. <laughs> you learn to know more about that person. You, you, he'll probably or she'll probably share with you some um, thing in their lives that, you know, brought them to the faith that they have. So um, Jesus has the answer. You know, he said, don't even hold anger in your heart. And then we grow from that experience. We evangelize and bring people to, to the Lord, and we do what the Lord has placed us on this earth to do. So um, I don't know if any of you have a person in mind that you're, you're dealing with, but before you bring your gift to the altar, go make amends and, and, uh, and find the surprise that's waiting for you, another uh, heart that's longing to be with the Lord. With hopeful hearts, we lift these intentions to our merciful Father today. For church leaders, may God grant them clarity of vision in guiding his people to deeper holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may God bring them grace and wisdom in working to protect the dignity of every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with anger or forgiveness, May God transform their hearts by the power of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may God open our hearts even more fully to receive his word and follow his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may they rest in the eternal light of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul, of Paul Tri Win, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us offer our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of light and goodness, we bring you these intentions today with confidence that you will answer them according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who came to share in our humanity. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We <coughs> lift them up to the Lord. <coughs> <coughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right <coughs> and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. <clears throat> for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord. Lord. God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, <clears throat> he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin <clears throat> and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael, the be archangel, archangel defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and do thou, Prince, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell, hell Satan, Satan and, and all, all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. souls. Amen. No, it's Teresa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in joy and peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A prayer of strength and protection for our priests, religious, and all God's people, touched by the Spirit of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Take the word and go out to every land. Shine a light of Christ for all to see. May the lives of those we touch sing praise to God above. Let us sing, we'll sing. With one voice, go pass the word along. With one voice, bring justice to the world. Sing of the Father and the Son.